one of the things I find a lot of students have issues with is finding the file that they need. Understanding File Explorer and how to properly use file management is a huge benefit in that. So let's take a real quick look at File Explorer. Now, the easy way to do this is to simply click on the Windows key and the E key, and this brings up Windows File Explorer. File Explorer is just a way to see where are all your files. On the Mac, they call this Finder. So they both have kind of a similar term that you can wind up using. Here we have it broken down into a couple of sections. We have on our left hand side a quick access. You notice that this is actually a drop down. I can hide this. But this is a list of common folders I've been using recently, which is also what you see over here on my top right hand side frequent folders. Now, some of these are pinned and will always show here. Things like my desktop, documents, downloads, all of those are standard folders and they're pinned because people just use them all the time. Others are not pinned. And you can see here I have like HTML examples and MS Word and sample files. These are folders that I'm using currently a lot. And so Windows says, hey, let's put them up to the top, make it easy for you to access them. Now, if they go away, I need to know where to find them. We'll talk about that in a minute. Next, I have OneDrive. So if I'm signed into my OneDrive account, I can go look at that. That syncs up with the cloud. So I can be on a work machine, sign into my OneDrive account, put a file there, then bring it down to my home machine to continue to work on it. Or I can sign into OneDrive while I'm at a friend's house, bring up a file, etc. The one we care about most, though, is this PC. And you may see it listed as this PC. You may see it as my computer. You may see it as a computer name. But this is your computer, the physical computer, and the storage within it. you notice that it has some things that are organized. So we have like our desktop and our documents folder and downloads we've talked about. We also have things like music and pictures and videos, and then something called the C drive. Now, sometimes we'll see it listed as just C colon. Sometimes it's given a name like OS or Windows or Windows 10. If I click on this, this is a list of all my folders that are organizing my files. And you might look and say, wow, some of those are a real mess. I agree. We've been doing this a long time. I've had this machine for a long, long time. So files kind of get everywhere. In some cases, I don't even have a choice. The application creates a folder and starts to put files there for me because it's being helpful. It knows where it is, and that's the important thing. But let's talk about the files that I know where they are. We're typically going to organize our files into a couple of main categories. Documents, which could be a mixture of text and images and other things. Pictures and videos and then music. Those are how we typically organize it. And we typically are going to put our videos inside a video folder, music inside a music folder, etc. Let's look at our documents folder. You'll notice I have a lot of different folders in here, and this is important. I sometimes see people with no folders and they just dump all their files in. Then they're trying to find something. I had a student who did this and he submitted a file for me for a project. He had two different classes that both had a project four that were due. It's towards the end of the semester. And one he called project four and one he called project web four. And he sent me the wrong file because he knew it was project four. He just sent me the wrong project four. And I got a history assignment instead. I emailed him right away. It was an honest mistake. He corrected it. But he should never have to have that embarrassment. And so organizing your files becomes really, really important. Let me show you how I organize my files. And I did this when I was in school. Up at the very top, I have a little quick start bar. 
I can choose to create a new folder. I'm going to create one called school. If I hit the enter key or double click on it, it takes me into that folder. Now I see that this folder is empty. You might go, okay, well, what good is this? Well, I'm going to pick a school year. So I can also right click in here and choose folder and create a new folder. And I'm going to put a school year. Double click inside of that, create another new folder. You might go, wow, this is a lot of folders. But I want you to notice what's going to happen. I have inside my documents, so I know an easy place to get to, a folder for school, this is all my school related documents, a folder for the year that I'm in because I'm going to take school over multiple years. And then I have it by semester. And then I'm going to have another set of folders. This one, I'm going to have multiple. So I'm going to have a folder for every class that I'm in. So I might have computer as a tool. I might have English composition one. I might have you fill in your list. By putting a separate folder for each class and then putting all my files associated with that class in that folder, I never get things lost. And if I can't remember what I named it, I can go find it. So using File Explorer becomes very helpful in getting me to organize my information, not just have a place to kind of store it. Think of it this way. We all have a miscellaneous junk drawer inside of our kitchen, right? Well, the challenge with that is, if I don't know where something's going to go, I put it into the junk drawer. Well, how often can I find go, I don't know what this is, and I throw it in the junk drawer? The answer is all the time. So if you keep yourself organized, you wind up not having that junk folder that you just throw all your files in. You know exactly where your files are. Now, sometimes you still are going to have a hard time. Like, where did I put this? What semester was it in? I can't remember. Well, here's an interesting thing. You'll notice in my address bar, I have this PC, document, school, 2025, and finally fall. Well, I can click anywhere I want on this, and I can, for example, click school. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I want to show you something. Notice on my far right hand side, I have a search box, but it says search school. It's only going to search that folder and below. Now, if I search documents, think about how many hundreds or even thousands of files I'm going to, have to search through. It's going to take a while. But if I say search school, I've narrowed my search way, way down. I can find my file much, much faster. Likewise, I can narrow it down further by year and maybe even semester and make it super easy for me. So keep this in mind. We have a search feature, but organizing our information is faster. When tying it with search, it makes it better. So hopefully you now have a better idea of what File Explorer is and how you can find your files and organize your data better. Next, I'm going to show you how to move your files around, know what file extensions are, etc. So stay tuned for that because it's coming up next.